the ball shaped chain chomp is here with another game featuring a ball and that game is wall ball for your atari and sears video computer systems featuring sports illustrated for reasons let's go ahead and take wall ball let's pop it in my atari and sears video computer systems and see how it holds up today let's go to the game Wall Ball was published by Avalon Hill and carries a copyright year of 1983 and is based on their microcomputer game Breakthrough. According to the back of the box, Wall Ball is for upper echelon players who've seen all there is to see in Flatland. You're not two dimensional, why should your games be? Break through the flat habit and experience a new dimension in video games. Play with the speed, control, and skill of handball, but without leaving home. Start slow or start fast, but don't be surprised if wall ball gives you a good workout wall ball nine levels of 3d racket and ball simulation for the atari 2600 and sears video arcade wall ball is a 3d racquetball style game for one player only you could play any of eight levels but you don't use the select button but rather you must wait for the game to scroll through levels until the desired level is shown the game starts with level one being the easiest with 99 balls very slow speed and a large racket and level eight being the hardest with only 10 balls that move fast and a small racket. All odd number levels have large rackets and all the even number levels have small rackets. The goal of each level is to hit 57 of 72 bricks on the wall in the distance. You use the joystick to move your racket. Where the ball hits your racket will determine the angle at which it leaves. However, if you hold down the button when you hit the ball, it will do a smash hit that sends the ball straight ahead. If the ball misses your racket, an annoying buzzer will let you know you missed and you'll lose a ball. Lose all of your balls and your game is over. If you hit enough bricks, the screen will freeze, sending you to the next level. For every three levels you complete, you will go to a tough eliminator game where you have a very limited number of fast moving balls, a tiny racket, and moving bricks. Scoring wise, the tougher the level, the more the bricks are worth, with the first bricks you hit in a level being worth the most points. Graphically speaking, the game actually does a good job pulling off the 3D look on a 2600. Sound wise, the bouncing sounds are okay, but the buzzer can be very very irritating. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if it was released today. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, loose copies were going for $15 to $20 and one new copy sold for $77. So what did I think of Wall Ball? On the positive side, I like the 3D look and also that you can pause the game by putting the color switch into black and white mode, but the buzzing is terrible. I don't like having to wait to select levels and it can be very hard to simply judge and hit the ball. It was so bad to start with, I was considering to make this game a contender for one of the worst I've ever played. But something happened. The more I played it, the more I got used to hitting the ball and started making progress and had a little bit of fun. It was still far from perfect and it could be hard to aim the ball and it was still easy to lose balls and bunches, but it turned a trash game into something playable for me. So where am I going to rank wall ball? I'm looking somewhere in the 140s. I do like crash dive more at 144, but I will put wall ball over Sprint Master at 145, another title that can be fun at times but can also be hard to control. So out of the 182 games I'm now ranked for the Atari 2600, Wall Ball is hitting blocks in the 145 position. Wall Ball is pretty ambitious for a 2600 game and can be a little fun at times but can also be frustrating to control and that buzzer is terrible. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Caleb J did to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and beware the buzzer.